you know, from all the stage attendees to the AAT Prize, I will be talk on complexity and sustainable science, opportunity for further study at Shanghai University. On behalf of the company, we would like to convey our warm welcome to the all to everyone. I think we talk on part and foremost. Let me introduce myself. My name is Ms. Yawe Jalifa from the University. And it is such a delightful chance for me to be at this group on this event. Before we start, we would also like to inform that this uh, agenda is streamed live via YouTube. So other than the events here in the Graduate School of IPP, we also have some audiences from YouTube. So before we start today's session, I would like to convey our warmest welcome to our speaker for today, Professor Chanchawan Chanchana from the Chiang uh, Mai University. Vice Dean for Resources, Cooperation, and Development of IPP University, EBDD. So, without a further ado, I would like to pass the floor to, uh, I would like to ask uh, Professor Titi to deliver a welcome remarks from IPP side. Please welcome Professor Titi. Thank you. Today, um, it's our pleasure to welcome Jay Shannon from Shannon University. And um, on behalf of the IB University, we welcome you and also myself uh, to do the um, to be the guest lectures for today and uh, I will talk about the sustainability and also uh, for today we will uh, in this lecture example, we will also inform you about the opportunity to push you the HD program in Shanghai University and maybe because we are in, in the same uh, the subjects are also the, about the agriculture, and there are also opportunity for us to conduct the exchange students. So, people we have the opportunity to hear about the possibility to um, do some international activity. Yeah. So, we are glad to have uh, uh, some change now because this is also. Uh, a great opportunity for the students. Since we are making a course of work, it's master students, or also they are master students. Uh, so uh, please uh, come and take. You have uh, enough time yet to, to explain about your program. It's also, maybe you, we can also discuss it later yeah, about the future program with the. The graduate school and also with the IDB University. Okay, thank you very much, Professor Kiki Chandras and Kiki from for the work of the public company this slide. So, without further ado, I would like to pass the floor to Professor Chuck Salan from Chiang University. To present this topic on opportunity to study at Shanghai University. I'm sure all of you can wait to hear what Professor Chakran has prepared for us. So, without further ado, Professor Chakran will give you a speech. Give a round of applause to Professor Chakran. Uh, I've come a long way from Shanghai University to here. Uh, it's very honored for me. Uh, this is uh, my first time to IPD, and, and, and I feel similar. To, uh, Atmosphere to Chiang Mai. We are like a, in the north of Thailand, and the, the weather is just like this, not uh, too hot, a, a little bit of uh, humid. It's uh, very nice. And, and I think we are surrounded by mountains. In Chiang Mai, we also have uh, lots of mountains too. We are close to Laos and Myanmar, and uh, like a, a bit further away, we can go to China. Uh, very quickly, about uh, 200 kilometers to south of China. So it's not far at all. So uh, for my talk today is going to be, uh, I would like to introduce you to 
to know more a little bit about the uh, Chiang Mai University. And then uh, I'll show you uh, the Faculty of Engineering and also uh, the, the scholarships that are available in Chiang Mai University. Uh, so we would uh, like to start with the uh, video uh, from the YouTube. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Uh, brief introduction quickly uh, about Chiang Mai University. As you may have seen in, from your video, uh, there are several uh, pictures mentioning about uh, agricultural activities in Chiang Mai University. And uh, I would say uh, agriculture is like a, the best for everything, it's a basic for our nature and our life. Uh, it's study. Every, every day we have to eat, and it's a source of uh, our energy and also it's help to sustain our society. So, uh, like myself, my, my background is uh, mechanical engineering, but uh, my research is also related to uh, agricultural engineering. Uh, my, my background is about an conditioning system. So, now what I'm working is uh, about the smart farming, how to uh, control the environment for uh, certain crops, mostly for high value crops, so that we can grow crops uh, that probably very difficult to grow in Thailand. Thailand is quite hot, uh, even in Chiang Mai. So we hope to like a controlled environment uh, so that we can grow. For, for example, strawberries is very expensive in, in Thailand. That's what we hope to. And we have uh, collaborations with. Uh, uh, universities in, in 
other countries. But in my case, I have a collaboration with the professors in, in uh, VA University in Japan, and uh, we are working with, together like for almost 10 years already. And uh, as Professor did mention, uh, we have uh, exchange programs and, and, and several student mobility programs with other universities. So it's, it is going to be a very uh, good opportunities for all of you that uh, uh, come in here. So I would like to uh, explain about these uh, uh, activities and, and how we can uh, work together or uh, have uh, future collaborations together. Probably go next to the PowerPoint. Yeah. Sorry? Yeah. So I'll talk a little bit more about the uh, faculty of engineering where I'm from. I'm uh, working as a vice green team. So uh, we have uh, several uh, activities of like uh, what I want to do. Next, please. Uh, Chiang Mai University is the uh, first university that uh, is in outside of Bangkok. Now, in, in the past, uh, university is probably in, in the central of, of uh, our university, uh, in, in the central part of uh, Bangkok only. But uh, Chiang Mai University is the first one to, go, to uh, be founded in, in uh, outside of uh, Bangkok. And next please. Uh, Chiang Mai now aim for uh, university that uh, provide knowledge and, and services to communities. Because uh, as I mentioned that uh, we are the, the community university that is located uh, outside Bangkok. So we are working closely with communities and uh, at the moment, we also extend our collaborations to industries as well, using our re uh, research. And uh, we hope to uh, have uh, uh, one of the goals to achieve, which is the sustainable development for uh, the Thai people and also around the world. Next, please. Here are the list of faculties and colleges in uh, Chiang Mai University. Uh, we divided into three groups. Uh, the first group is the health science. Uh, second group is the science and technology. And the third group is the social science. And uh, for the engineering, we are in the science and technology group. And uh, we work mostly our, our research in terms of the postgrad studies. We work across uh, disciplines. So it's uh, Lecturers and researchers in these three groups. Mostly now we are encouraging them to uh, have research program or, or topics that are uh, like a, a interdisciplinary collaboration. And uh, yeah, the few more uh, we have colleges, school, and institute. Uh, these are like a specialist in certain. Uh, disciplines. For example, the uh, College of Arts, Media, and Technology, they are looking into the uh, digital technologies, uh, the, uh, digital media. So we can uh, transform the knowledge and the technologies into a digital form. And uh, <coughs> next please. And we also have uh, Research centers and, and other academic support institute. And uh, as one of the research centers, you may have seen that there are food innovation and packaging systems. This one is very uh, well known in, in Thailand. We are, uh, because we are supporting agricultural research, but uh, we hope to not to just sell agricultural products as a raw uh, products. From the farm, we want to uh, proceed it to a further set some some of the research uh, looking into uh, extraction of uh, key uh, elements or uh, 
I don't know what's it called. Uh, and, no, some some active active, active active agents so that we can use it in uh, medical uh, purposes. So uh, they are working uh, in, in this way. And uh, in, in, in our university, we also have other facilities and services just like this. Uh, we can also have the hotel uh, for uh, guests, like uh, the IPB uh, convention hotel here. Yeah. <laughs> And we have the museum and the, uh, the center for uh, promotion of arts and culture. Also, we have the uh, sport activities, uh, main stadium, the uh, swimming pool, and tennis sports. And also, we have uh, in on site the uh, dormitory. No. Yeah, but uh, very. Not, not not many rooms, only for, at the moment, only for undergrad students. Uh, every year, uh, we have about 10,000 undergrad students coming into our university. So the accommodation here only can, can uh, accommodate first year student only, not, not every student. But uh, we have a uh, private dormitory around the university so that uh, all, all students can stay close to the university. And uh, we have exchange program with uh, many parts of the world, uh, as you can see here. Uh, this is uh, like uh, for all of the uh, faculties. Okay. Next week. And uh, so now focusing on the faculty of engineering, uh, what we have. <clears throat> so we found in uh, 1970, uh, and at the moment we have uh, seven departments, and uh, we offer uh, 11 bachelor degree programs, 13 master degrees, and also uh, eight doctoral degree programs. Next please. And uh, this is our vision. Yeah, we hope to be excellent in, in the engineering and uh, we hope to be in the US top 500 in engineering. And these are a list of the programs that we are uh, offering at the moment. Uh, these are the name of the programs. Civil uh, Agricultural, Civil Computer. And some of them are uh, Offer in bachelor degree and some of them in master and some in the doctoral program. Next list. And this a uh, few more here. Next list. And these are the uh, international uh, collaboration that uh, we have at the moment. This are uh, only the, the active ones. We actually have a, a Long list of uh, corporations uh, with many universities. Uh, for example, for myself, I'm working with the uh, Kyoto University in uh, student exchange and also uh, research collaboration. Uh, one of my research with uh, the Kyoto University is about uh, uh, how to deal with drought area where we don't have uh, enough water in, in Thailand. Some of our areas, like uh, in, up in the hill, no, not enough water for irrigation. So it's not uh, every year they have like a, a few centimeters of rainfall. So it's not enough for, for agricultural, agricultural activity. And uh, we have a uh, university in, in Korea, uh, but they are working on uh, energy mostly like a building the energy, uh, the PV system, and also uh, some of the materials science, uh, mostly is a uh, base, agricultural based uh, materials. And there are the uh, universities in, in, in Europe and also in America. 
And uh, you know, we have double degree program with uh, other university. Uh, at the moment, we have the second south, south in China, the CNU uh, in Taiwan, which uh, one from uh, Germany and in France. Next. Okay. So, uh, as you see that uh, we have uh, quite a number of programs in, in Chiang Mai University. Now, uh, what I would like to show you is uh, about the opportunities and, and the scholarship that is available in Chiang Mai University at the moment. Uh, currently, uh, we have this CMU uh, presidential uh, scholarship. It's a full scholarship for students who would like to uh, go and, and study in Chiang Mai University. Uh, this uh, scholarship support for everything, okay? uh, starting from the uh, tuition fees, the living allowance, insurance, books, uh, stationary and settlement allowance, and also airfare from uh, Indonesia to uh, Chiang Mai University. For the duration is uh, the same as the uh, program. For example, master degree two years and doctoral three years program. Yeah. Oh, not yet. <laughs> we have uh, 100 scholarship per year and uh, for doctoral and for uh, master program. Uh, one, one of the conditions for uh, uh, entering this scholarship is that uh, you should uh, contact uh, one of the professors in Chiang Mai University so that you have uh, some discussion about your further uh, topics, what you would like to do. And then you discuss with the professor. And then uh, what you have to submit is that is the uh, like a one page of the idea of your research in Chiang Mai University. Next please. And these are the criteria and the uh, document that is required by uh, the scholarships. Uh, for the uh, presidential scholarship, uh, the GPA is not less than 3.5 or based on the four rules. And you must have the certificate for English language and uh, two recommendation letters from your uh, home institute. Okay. And we have, we have two rounds uh, November to December and February to April. Uh, last year, we, we cannot fill 100 uh, scholarships, so we can have more students. and. Uh, for my observation, most of the international uh, student, uh, I, I mean, applicants from foreign countries is uh, very much welcome. And, and we uh, hope to have you uh, in Chiang Mai University. Next, please. And uh, for the presidential scholarship, uh, as you may see, the, the requirement for the GPA is a little bit high. Uh, in Chiang Mai University, 3.5 out of 4 is a uh, uh, first class honor. I'm, I'm not sure about here, probably the same. Sorry. For those who uh, not qualified in terms of the GPA. You have your uh, second chance for this scholarship. This one is a PA and RA scholarships. Okay. Uh, everyone can apply for this. We have a uh, handling scholarship for master and doctoral students. And uh, we have 50 for active recruitment. Active recruitment is that uh, we have direct communication with students. And uh, we uh, show uh, our commitment to you know, the Chiang Mai University, how many uh, research papers 
we gonna uh, submit to uh, the university during the, during the study duration. And you will have a uh, link for, for the PARA, uh, you have uh, support for the living expenses for 9,000 baht per month for the whole uh, duration of your study. Uh, what, the, what it means is that uh, you don't have, you're not going to have the FS, you're, gonna, you're not going to have the uh, tuition fee for this month. Yeah. But uh, normally, uh, for uh, professors in, in Chiang Mai University, they will have uh, research projects to support uh, other expenses for you. Okay. Next, please. So this is the uh, criteria for uh, the, the GARA scholarship. Okay. Okay. That's for the, the doctoral degree okay. and the, uh, the for the master is uh, yeah. yeah and the application given is also two rounds round one and round two this is and so the these are the general uh, uh, idea about the scholarships. And uh, the next one is going to be like a, for uh, professors who have uh, uh, scholarships in hand that they can provide you. And, and these are the information that uh, you can uh, use to contact to, uh, the professor directly to uh, get, get started and also uh, Talk about your interest and also the professor interest, what he or she has in mind. Okay. And then you can develop your research professor or research ideas after that. Next please. No. Like uh, for myself, uh, I, I hold uh, the presidential scholarship and uh, I can have, for example, uh, two master degree students in uh, energy engineering. When, when you uh, read about energy engineering, uh, don't just think about the uh, fossil fuel, like a petroleum, no. Uh, you have to discuss with the professor first. Like for myself, I'm working on uh, renewable energy. And mostly, I'm working with the uh, uh, biomass. And most of the biomass is derived from agricultural waste. Okay. So that's what I'm working on. One of my research is about the uh, chicken manure. I would like to convert the chicken manure into energy, into electricity, so that uh, I can help chicken farm reduce the energy use. Okay. So this is myself. Uh, I will um, be part looking for two uh, potential students. And uh, the project that I have, I can support everything uh, for the students. Next thing. And also, I am looking for two master degree programs. Uh, in agricultural engineering as well. Uh, it's also the same for the uh, presidential scholarships. Next please. And we have three, uh, three master and three doctoral in mechanical. And at the moment, there are two professors, uh, Professor Nakhon and Professor uh, Pawara. They are looking for procedure students. Okay. Uh, I have the names and emails here for you. Professor Nakhon is working on uh, energy and also working on gasification technologies. And uh, the, I forgot one of another one, the carbon capture technology that is. In the fossil uh, 
uh, working on at the moment. Uh, Professor Paul, he, uh, he is working on the uh, mechanic, uh, like a uh, fracture, the strength of material. This is his uh, uh, major. Next, please. And uh, we have Professor Damlongsak. Professor Damlongsak is in civil engineering. He is looking for one uh, master and one doctoral students. Uh, Professor Damlongsak, yes, although he is in civil engineering, but uh, his work is like a in the broad sense of civil engineer, not uh, in but not in construction. He's working on uh, building energy management. He also working on uh, digital twin technologies. Uh, digital twin technology is like uh, what you have in computer games. When you go to buildings or or certain place, you can see in like uh, just like this. But uh, we we want to turn uh, that gaming technologies into something useful. We gonna install sensors in buildings, and the sensor will provide uh, information to the digital twin technologies, so that we can use those information for managing the, the buildings or facilities. We also working uh, with the not not just only inside building, also the surrounding. Uh, Buildings, for example, one of his uh, current research project is uh, the uh, hospital management. Okay. In hospitals in Thailand, is quite there. Yeah, so many people going to hospitals and a lot of traffic. Okay. So traffic management for the for the hospital yeah. now. If you have like a several buildings or, or hundreds of buildings in, in a certain area, if you would like to know uh, if you're gonna change function of one or two buildings, or if you're gonna install a new buildings, how it affects uh, surrounding uh, traffic, something like that. And also in one buildings, if you're gonna if you want to make it better, for example, in, in our hospital. Uh, the, the OPD, mostly OPD has to be in the ground floor because OPD uh, outpatient coming day to day. So we don't put it in top floor. If you, got, if you put it in top floor, the use of elevator is going to be a lot and energy use is going to be very high. Uh, the, the, uh, I don't know, the tourist for, for for uh, moving patients, we can track them where it is and where is the closest one. We can do make it uh, visible in three dimensional, and we use our twin digital to control. That that's what he is working on at the moment. Next is and uh, uh, Professor Sukari is from uh, Pretorium. Uh, he is uh, looking for uh, two master degree students uh, in mining and geo resources. Uh, his uh, current research is about the carbon storage technology. Carbon storage in terms of mining is that uh, he's looking into uh, how to uh, capture carbon carbon or carbon dioxide to the underground. In Thailand, we have, uh, uh, in, in the Gulf of Thailand, we have what we call petroleum uh, 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 site. Some of them has depleted. Okay. The petroleum site is like a sponge. Okay. If you squeeze it, water will come out. If you think of uh, the water as in the uh, natural gas or oil, once you spit it, inside is a hole. Okay. What he hope to do is that 
when, when he has an empty spot, he can uh, have uh, come outside underground and keep it there so that we don't emit uh, or have uh, more emission. I think uh, in, in Indonesia, you also have a lot of uh, petroleum uh, sites that have uh, potential for carbon dioxide storage. Next, please. And uh, Roger Conkrey, uh, he's in industrial engineering. Uh, his work is uh, in many fields. Uh, he started his work with the uh, uh, optimization, but now he is uh, working on uh, industrial and uh, medical. Uh, so he is looking into several uh, technologies. For example, the uh, plasma technology, how to use it in uh, agricultural uh, activity. Uh, one of one of his current research is. Uh, how to apply plasma into water and then use that water to clean uh, agricultural products. It can remove like a pesticide and, and other uh, uh, unwanted uh, contamination. That, that's the potential of the uh, research. And, it's, and we also have uh, two more professors from the industrial. Uh, engineering Professor Donovan and Professor Chavis. Uh, both of them are working on uh, logistics and uh, logistics and supply chain. So they are working on many uh, related topics uh, from, for example, uh, materials, uh, material logistics inside uh, industry or urban factory. And also, he looking, they are looking in like a broader uh, area, like a broader, the whole supply chains from the original of the material goes to factories, go to storage, and probably goes to the customers. Okay. That's, that's what they are working uh, on at the moment. Uh, they, these two, they have a very strong uh, relation with the university in Europe. Uh, Professor Oracle, now she has uh, just recently signed a contract, five-year contract with the uh, Erasmus. Uh, so she can, like I send you to uh, overseas for, for uh, exchange opportunities. Next, please. Yep. Okay. Probably that's uh, the last of the presentation uh, about the, the opportunities for uh, study in Chiang Mai University. Uh, if you have uh, any questions about the uh, other areas, not just only what I'm, uh, what I have uh, uh, mentioned in, in the slides, uh, you can uh, direct your questions to me. Uh, no, uh, don't hesitate because the we have the first round uh, going to be ended in, in this Sorry. December. Okay. We have about two months from now. And if the first round is not filled, you can go for the second round. The uh, semesters in Thailand starts from uh, June, first semester. So uh, we hope to uh, get all your applications by then because we, we still have like a few more. Uh, steps to to uh, work on after receiving your applications. And uh, today, I would like to introduce you to uh, uh, Mr. Wahyu. Uh, he's also one of my students. Wahyu uh, is receiving a TARA scholarship from the uh, Chiang Mai University, and uh, our laboratory support for uh, other expenses. And probably uh, what you can uh, talk about your experience and probably your research in, in Chiang Mai University in Indonesia. Oh, in Indonesia. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Okay.
Sebut saja. Sebut saja. Jadi kenalkan nama saya Wahyu. Saya dari Jawa Timur. Jadi pucuknya Jawa Timur si Kebondo. Cuman saya graduate di Universitas Jember yang terkenal sama komoditi kopi. Karena di situ ada pusat pendidikan kopi dan kakao. Uh, saya lulus pada tahun 2019, kemudian apply uh, for the scholarship uh, seperti yang Profesor Cacuan mention tadi, uh, teaching assistant and research assistant pada 2020 November, kemudian uh, announcement di Februari 2021. Uh, lalu saya start uh, study bulan Juni, cuman uh, saya harus berangkat ke Thailand bulan Oktober karena pandemi COVID-19 waktu itu. Jadi uh, tidak ada penerbangan dari Indonesia ke Thailand. Jadi bulan November saya baru sampai di Chiang Mai. Jadi hampir satu tahun. Oh sudah satu tahun ya, sudah satu tahun di Chiang Mai. Cuman uh, masih belum bisa berbicara Thailand sampai sekarang karena susah sekali gitu ya. Uh, ya karena beda intonasi juga kan beda arti. Gitu. Apalagi harus menulis bahasa Thailand juga belum bisa sama sekali. Tapi kalau cuman seperti order makan, kemudian ya percakapan ringan-ringan saja belum bisa. Uh, mungkin nanti apabila teman-teman ini kan master di krismu atau ada yang PhD sih, mungkin saya, saya panggil teman-teman aja <laughs> apabila mungkin teman-teman nanti uh, punya pertanyaan atau uh, apapun yang terkait dengan bagaimana sih kehidupan di Chiang Mai. Uh, living costnya gimana, kemudian uh, berapa sih biaya makan per hari atau sebagainya gitu. Mungkin teman-teman punya ketertarikan boleh kontak pribadi saya. Uh, saya ada WA. Oh. Ya. Yeah. Uh, 085 330 730 152. Ya. Yeah. Nomor WA pribadi saya. Jadi sekarang di Chiang Mai kurang lebih ada 23 mahasiswa Indonesia uh, yang terdiri dari PhD maupun master. Jadi karena Chiang Mai jauh dari Bangkok kan mahasiswa di Thailand itu di bawah permita, di bawah permita. Cuman permita pusat kan ada di Bangkok. Jadi karena kita di Thailand Utara, jadinya sedikit cuma 23 gitu. Ya. Uh, Mungkin itu sih yang bisa saya sampaikan. Nanti uh, ke depannya saya juga nanti ada komunikasi antara kita. Mungkin berkaitan dengan uh, apa ya, kolaborasi riset atau sebagainya gitu. Nanti bisa kontak pribadi, nanti bisa saya lanjutkan ke profesor. Oke, gitu, ya. ya. Mungkin demikian. Terima kasih. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, uh, Come from the scholarship uh, and opportunities for studying in Chiang Mai University, uh, we are also hoping to, to extend our our uh, offer to uh, further research preparation. And uh, you have uh, start, started your programs here already. Uh, if you think that uh, whatever topics that we might be able to, to Uh, work together. Don't hesitate to contact us. We hope to discuss about that and uh, talk with the person reading uh, a little bit uh, before about the, this uh, opportunity. I think that can be great for, for all the students. Thank you very much. The discussion. Yeah, thank you very much, Dr. Sajjawan, and also you for the presentation. Please, once again, give a round of applause for And as you see from the video, from what I got, is uh, what Chiang Mai University has to offer is resonance quite well with what we have in IB University here. So I'm sure all of you must be having a lot of interest and you're getting more serious to go to study abroad in Chiang Mai University. So, we will start the discussion. Uh, we will open with three first questions. So if anyone has a question, please raise your hand and mention your department. Oh, well, I think it's very much like Thank you, Professor Ted Tawan. 
for our presentation. It's very uh, interesting. Um, my name is Andre Bratama. I'm from uh, North Borneo. Uh, before I start uh, study in Ivy University, I'm from Mulawatan University, Fisheries uh, and Marine Faculty. And currently, uh, I start Logistic Agro Maritime program. And it's very interesting for me because I want to continue my study in Thailand, maybe soon as possible. So uh, please give me advice. What should I take? Should I take a, a before? Before I'm from uh, Logistic Agro Maritime. So if I want to continue my study, what should I take? Should I take a logistic engineering and uh, uh, supply chain management professor? This is the uh, advice. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I would suggest this, that. Uh, for, for master degree, uh, one, one of my one of my belief is that uh, the master degree uh, here also four years. Four years in in master degree uh, cannot bow you to just only in that uh, certain areas of studies. You can be anything. You can do anything. Uh, for further study from, from your bachelor degree, for, uh, like uh, myself, mechanical, uh, I, I start, I choose to do mechanical in master and PhD. Uh, the advantage is that it's easy because we, we build on the same background and, and it, for further study, it's quite easy. But uh, my area will be a bit narrow. Uh, if you if you have capabilities you, and, and if you have interest in other areas, uh, you can choose other areas as well. That, that's what I would like to, to mention. Is, uh, you have to select your future. <laughs> and, is uh, master students now mm -hmm. in uh, logistic capabilities? Yeah. In, in that case, if you uh, continue with the logistic, it might be uh, uh, better to do further studies. Thank you very much for the answer, Professor. Maybe anyone else have a question? Please raise your hand. All products also offering in English? Uh, yes, uh, we have. Uh, both uh, international and, and, and regular programs uh, for students from overseas, uh, you can enter both. Uh, for uh, regular programs, we have uh, sort of three sub programs. Uh, the first pro sub program is a research only, like uh, what, uh, what you is attending at the moment. For the research only, you don't need to attend any classes. You work directly with the professors, so they'll have a, a regular discussions uh, with you in English. Uh, for most of the Thai students, they choose other programs. Uh, we have uh, like a three subject compulsory, and the other one is like a nine subjects. And the size of the thesis will be. Uh, Related to how many subjects have they that they have uh, studied, like uh, for research only, the size of the research is quite uh, big. You, you because you have the whole two or three years to work on one one project. But if a uh, student choose to do coursework, so probably like uh, they have one year for doing coursework, and they only have one year for doing research. So the size of the research will, will be smaller. And uh, oh, I forgot to mention the requirements for uh, graduation. 
for master degree, uh, you need to submit uh, one research paper in uh, international conference and one research paper in a journal, international journal. For the PhD, uh, one in the international conference and two in the international journal. Okay, thank you very much, Professor. Uh, as I noticed before, there was a slide talking about the required documents that needed to be submitted to apply for you for the scholarship and the program. But maybe now, where should we send it? Do we send it to your email or to the professors directly? Uh, both. You can send it to me or your other professors. Okay. So if you are interested in one of the topics that was uh, presented by Professor Jackson before, you can just um, send it to the email that was written and also CC to Professor Jackson. Okay, maybe is there any more question? The, the process would be like this if you send your document to me and uh, I will coordinate with the related professors, mm -hmm. and then I will set up like a Interview, so interview, so that um, we can start a discussion about your future topic. Um, that the, the research topic can come into two ways. Uh, you may have your own uh, interests. You, you may have your own topic, you can propose. and also the, the professor have a uh, research topic. He also can discuss with you, and then. Uh, both to do come to an agreement, then uh, you can start dropping the research proposal or the research idea and then submit to the real school. Okay, so the only application process runs directly to, to the professors. Okay, so maybe if we don't have any more questions, oh, okay, please. I want to know if there are any research. Uh, opportunity to do it self but only for the research, not for the uh, second part, just get for research. But I already, uh, in my third semester year, I, I don't see that. Oh, it's if I can ask one more thing because I'm not Muslim, so I really want to know how the atmosphere of the position there is. <laughs> Is that Muslim rally or something? What is it called? Okay, I answered the question. For the uh, uh, food science, uh, in, we have actually in the uh, faculty of food science uh, and food engineering in Chiang Mai University. Uh, if, you, if you have any idea on or any topic and, and you think that uh, uh, you need consultant, you can send uh, your emails to me, and then I will find a super professor for you. And in, actually, in uh, mechanical engineering, there are several professors that are working on, on two sides uh, because uh, in, in the, uh, mechanical engineering, we have a thermal engineer, uh, they are working on uh, the equipment the process. Uh, how how we like uh, for example if you gonna do freeze dry uh, what is the pressure what is the temperature how to control it what sort of uh, uh, chamber should be like uh, if you want uh, like three kilogram per hour how do we decide 
that's that's going to be the, the mechanism. Oh, yes. I, I can uh, buy a suitable uh, uh, professor for you. The question is, is it hard to find a good halal food price? Ultimately, it's not hard to find a halal food because in the supermarket, they also sell the halal food as well. And then in the, uh, close to the general university, it's also have traditional halal food as well. For me, I cannot cook. <laughs> so I just buy like uh, instant halal food with service. But like it's a lot of halal food in Jawan. Yeah. Masjid on the campus. Uh, inside. Inside the campus. It's a Muslim community in the Yeah, I, you remind me of one of the presentations. Yeah, uh, you mentioned about the uh, uh, food, food in the Indianapolis or food hub. Uh, Shanghai yeah. is uh, uh, the food hub of, of Thailand, and we have uh, industries, uh, food industries, big ones in Shanghai, and I, there are many people working on this. So how uh, I can buy this information and send to you. Thank you very much, Professor. I hope that address your concern and your question. Yeah. So I think due to the limited time, uh, unfortunately, we have to close the session. And so before we close, I would like to invite Professor Kuti and Professor Chichawa to go to the front because we will have a little to bring the focus. <laughs> Oh, now I would like to also invite everyone to come to the front because we will have group picture together. Teman-teman, silakan maju ke depan ya karena kita akan foto bersama. Kita mengumpulkan cucawan juga dan ibu-ibu. Tolong dimatikan. Ayo semuanya silakan maju ke depan ya. Jangan ngumpul di situ. Atau ada yang cowok yang ada parking cowoknya di depan kali ya. Okay, so I'm going to go to the next one. Okay, so I'm going to go to the next one. Okay, so I'm going to go to the next one. Okay, so I'm going to go to the next one. Okay, so I'm going to go to the next one. Okay, so I'm going to go to the next one. Okay,